So basically, shinobue is a Japanese bamboo flute. Traditionally, it has seven holes and it doesn't have a membrane, which kind of differentiates it from the Chinese flute, which does have a membrane. It usually has three keys, which is six, seven, and eight. And it goes from low to high accordingly. So this light color shinobue, a seven, is from a ecology and taiko group, Cornelianotype. If you're interested in something really cool, like Taiko related stuff, check out the link on the upper right corner. They're super cool. So Yamate lent me this light color shinobue to say, it's fragile, it's expensive, don't break it. And I didn't realize how much it cost until I check it online on Taiko Center Shop. And it cost 28,000 yen, which is roughly 230 bucks. And I'm like, holy crap, holy crap, it's just a bamboo. And I got these two, a six and an eight from Taobao, which is a Chinese version of Amazon, Chinese version of eBay. And they cost 68 Chinese yuan each, which is roughly 10 bug per Shino boy. Well, I think that's pretty much the reason why I bought it. Because if I spent 28,000 yen, just on the color and the pitch difference, that will be luxurious. So since I got these two from the same shop, I think I'll just do a six and seven comparison here. Basically, that means it will only have the difference in length and hole distribution. And let's get straight into it. So the first difference you'll notice is the texture. The 230 bucks Shino Boy is made of raw bamboo while the 10 bug one has a transparent painting on it. I mean, it's just a stylistic thing. People have a different taste. I will say for the 230 bug one, it looks pretty classic. It looks natural. While it was the painting, the 10 bug one, it looks a bit fancier, while there are people saying it's more plastic-like. It depends. But I think both looks fine to me. Now I'm holding the sheet of wood this way. And you will soon find the second significant difference, which is the radius. The six is way thicker than the seven. So at first I thought that it's because the six is deeper, it requires a larger radius. Until I turned the fluid around and I thought this. See, their interior is pretty much the same. They have the same inner radius, while the outer radius is much, much larger. So I thought again, maybe it's because it's longer than so quite a thicker wall. So I pull out my eight and I discover it's astonishing. The eight is still thicker than the seven, which doesn't make any sense now. Now eventually you start to realize, oh, that's where the 220 buck goes. I mean, yeah, to make the wall thinner, it definitely requires much more position and technique. Yeah, and I pay for it, to be honest. So why it matters? Because the thickness of the Shino Boy directly affects the sound I produce. For me, it's much easier to hold the 7 because I can easily cover the holes completely with my finger, while when the radius of the Shino Boy goes up, it becomes harder to cover it. And thus, the sound doesn't go that plain comparatively. Sound quality wise, the 230 bucks Shinobue outperforms. But again, that might be caused by the difficulties to cover the holes. And based on my experience, as long as I can produce that sound, it sounds okay. But in general, there will be more airflow within this 10 bucks Shinobue compared to the 231. So I believe, yeah, again, it's about the thickness and it's about the technique. I will show you now what it sounds like on the 230 buck Shino Boy. Well, yeah, guys, that's a legit demonstration. And now reaches the conclusion of this video. The two Shino Boy both are fine, they're acceptable. But the 231 outperforms on its thickness and its sound quality. 
both has good exterior. The 231 has a classic and natural row bamboo exterior, while the 10 buck one has a reflective transparent painting which makes it a little bit fancier. Sound quality wise, the 10 buck one has more airflow in general, while the 230 buck one, because it's easier for people to hold, actually makes cleaner sound. If you are a starter and you want to practice, I think both is fine. But if you want to perform, I will go for the 230 buck one. But I still appreciate the accessibility of the 10 buck Shino Boy. I believe that will largely encourage people to actually buy one and try it out. And after all, the performance is determined 99% by your practice. An instrument is just a little bit at all. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy it, please press the like button. Thank you. And see you soon.